and welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by allfreejewelrymaking.com and keepsakecrafts.net. Today we'll be learning how to make this great necklace made with a whole variety of beads. It's a wonderful way to use up some of those leftover beads in your stash and it works up very quickly. So to make this necklace you will need some rat tail cord this is about a yard. You'll also need two of these little components and they, I'm showing you a couple different types that you use when you use cord to make a piece of jewelry and this gives you a way to attach a clasp. There are these spring types and you just slide your cord into the spring and then use pliers to squish the end of it and that's not going to go anywhere or you can use these which fold over and it's got a little tooth there to hold onto the cord and then you use pliers to flatten it and that way you can put a jump ring and a clasp on the end of that. So whichever you prefer, whichever you can find and I've got all mixed metals here so I'm not really worried about whether it matches. I think I'll go with the coil ones. You'll also need a clasp and this one, the loop is big enough that I don't need a jump ring, but if you were going to use this one, you would need an additional jump ring. You'll need three jump rings to connect your dangles to your ring. You'll need about a one inch diameter ring. You'll need three head pins. And then an assortment of beads. And what you'll actually end up needing is four focal beads four main ones. So I have this heart, I have this barrel which has a nice large hole and you'll see why we need that in a minute. And then I have two others. I have a pair of accent beads for each of these three and then on this one I have a pair of accent beads, another bead and a pair of little beads to go with that just to make this one a little bit longer and more interesting. So I'll start by sliding the heart onto a head pin and like I said just go through your um, your stash of beads. It's kind of fun mixing the different metal colors. The more you have the more it all works together. And make yourself a bead dangle. Just like that. So there's that one. And then I'll do the same for this turquoise bead. And if you find that your beads are uh, going to slip through the head pin, just go ahead and throw a seed bead on. And that will keep it in place. So here we go. So these are dangles. I like those three. The next step is to make each of these have a loop to hang from. And the way we do that is you go ahead and grasp it, the wire, right where the last, the wire comes out of the last bead with chain nose pliers and bend that at a 90 degree angle. Grasp that bend with the round nose pliers and go ahead and wrap as far as it will go around the round part of the round nose pliers. You'll only be able to go about that far. Reposition the round nose pliers and finish the wrap. And on this one I'm actually going to, rather than trim it, I'm going to make a wrapped loop. Just leave your pliers in, wrap that around as far as it will go, get some nice flush cut pliers, trim off the excess. Use your chain nose pliers to tuck that end in making sure there's no sharp edges. So there's one and repeat that for your other two dangles. So here I've gone ahead and made my three dangles and I've folded my rat tail cord in half and then slid these three beads onto the cord. And this is why you need these three beads to have larger holes so that you can slide them on. And if you have a little bit of trouble you can kind of poke, poke it through and then go ahead and grab 
the cord with pair chain nose pliers and pull it through the rest of the way. So once you have your three accent beads on your cord, go ahead and pick up your ring, slide the rat tail cord loop through the ring, and then go ahead and slide the ends back through it along with your barrel. And that is how we attach that. And I'm going to actually slide the the um, link, not the link, the, the opening right where those cross. Let's see if it'll stay there. Next, just slide your beads, your barrel beads down to that loop knot that you just made. And then go ahead and tie an overhand knot here. Right above those beads. It's just, it keeps it in place, but it also looks interesting just to have those knots. The final step, well, second to last step, the penultimate step, is to open your jump rings. Oop. Fling beads about. <laughs> And go ahead and connect all three of your dangles to the ring. So I'll put the, the longer one with the heart in the middle. Sorry. And put a shorter one on either side. Make sure your jump rings are closed securely, that, the, that they meet, and look at it from the top and from the side. Make sure that they're actually meeting in a perfect ring. And the way you open a jump ring, now these are big, so I'm using my fingers on one side. Smaller ones, you'll use two pairs of chain nose pliers. Position the split at 12 o'clock. Hold on with chain nose pliers. Push one side away from you while you pull the other towards you so that it's twisted open. Don't ever pull it open. It just weak weakens it and distorts it. Fiddle with that for a moment. Make sure that's closed properly. Okay. The last step is to attach your um, little findings and attach your lobster clasp and you have a great, quick, kind of funky, interesting necklace. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here's another look at the necklace we made today. Please be sure to check out KeepsakeCrafts.net for more crafting, jewelry, and sewing ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching.